Hi everyone welcome back to my channel, today I will explain about Lilim. Lilim, or Lilin, are said to be children of Lilith and Satan according to Jewish folklore and Kabbalistic teachings. A second horde of the Lilim were children of Lilith and Asmodeus. The Lilim, or Lilin, are dangerous demons similar to succubi that reside in hell. The Lilim were conceived through Lilith alone, though some of them came from the union of herself and Samael. Men feared the Lilim for this reason and women also feared the Lilim because it is believed that they kidnap children like their mother, Lilith. They are amazingly beautiful and strongly resemble their mother. The Lilim are said to bring harm to human children, and to seduce men who are caught in their gaze. Like their mother, they drain men of their essence. History Genesis The Lilim were conceived through the union of Lilith and Samael, the venom of God. Lilith refused to provide any pleasure towards her mate Adam, due to the fact that him being on top of her boasted a sense of superiority for the male instead of the female. Lilith was then kicked out of Eden for this. Senoi, Sansanoi and Samangelov were sent by God to retrieve her but she refused, instead proclaiming that her children would not be born of Adam as they would be weak but instead would bring forth children by way of a greater being to overshadow Adam's sons and daughters. The three angels responded by having 100 of those children slain each day. At the time, Tananiver overheard this conversation and after conforming to Lilith's desires, he led her to the location of the archangel Samael after he had been driven out of the mountain of God for refusing to bow down to humanity. While Samael was initially hostile, Lilith was able to persuade him by having him provide her with a pleasure that Adam could not and prove that the race of angels are far greater than that of a humans and are capable of giving more than they. Samael could see that these race of beings from their union could prove beneficial in fighting against the sons and daughters of Adam as they would possess attributes superior to that of mere flesh. Samael obliged to Lilith's offering, and made love to Lilith in a cave by the shore of the Red Sea to which she then gave birth to the Lilim. When God knew of this, he had Senoi, Sansanoi and Samangeluf destroy all her children as they warned her they would, which greatly angered Lilith, vowing to kill any child that was conceived through the union under the law of marriage. The slaughter of her children had Lilith partake in Samael and Lucifer's mission to instigate the fall of man where Lilith would go after Eve herself as she could not harm Adam due to them being equal in creation and power. Daughters of Lilith Lilith and Samael were later condemned to the pit, which later became hell after Lucifer and his followers fell from grace and be punished for their crimes. Despite being destroyed the Lilim were conceived yet again and born in the pits of hell, which twisted their physical appearance and depravity. A second horde of Lilim, known as Osmodai, were also conceived by Lilith when she mated with Asmodeus, one of the seven kings of hell. The Lilim would be sent out onto the earth to snatch and devour newborn children inflicting Lilith's curse onto pregnant mothers which afflicts their unborn children with disabilities and short lifespans. However, they could not enter households which held the invoked names of Senoi, Sansanoi and Samangelov as they would descend from the heavens and slay them. The Lilim had a part to play in the attempted killing of an infant Jesus as he laid within his crib. As the infant Messiah lay sleeping in his crib, Tananiver shrouded the barn of where he laid in darkness with the only known light source being Jesus himself whose radiance disturbed the beast and Lilith. Tananiver would compress the light of Jesus enough to have the Lilim get close and dismember his body before feeding it to Lilith. However, the Lilim were intercepted by Senoi, Sansanoi, and Samangelov quickly slaying them with Lilith personally battling Lila over Jesus and Mara with Tananiver. While the blind serpent fights the hound fiercely, he could not defeat him. 
Most of the Lilim were slain or cast out by the angels after the defeat of Tananiver and Lilith by the combined might of Mera and Lila respectively.